Men who had once sworn loyalty to Hitler were now the most valuable prizes of the post-war world. Others had dark pasts, ties to war crimes, concentration camp experiments, and the Nazi party itself. Yet in the tense atmosphere of 1945, morality was often pushed aside for the sake of strategic advantage. To many in Washington and London, it was clear that the Third Reich had been decades ahead in certain areas of science. And while the war in Europe had ended, the competition between the United States and the Soviet Union was only beginning. Each side knew that whoever captured Germany's brightest minds would gain an enormous edge in the next global contest. The race for atomic power, rockets, and space itself. But beneath the celebration lay an uncomfortable truth. The foundation of America's space program had been built, in part, on the knowledge of former Nazi scientists. Von Braun was not alone. Operation Paperclip brought over roughly 1,600 German experts, including physicists, chemists, and medical researchers. In a world now divided between East and West, ideology mattered less than expertise. The same scientists who once designed weapons for Hitler were now designing the future of space exploration. Still, the ethical questions remain haunting. Did the pursuit of technological dominance excuse the erasure of history's darkest crimes? Progress often carries a shadow, and the pursuit of knowledge can come at a moral cost. Their brilliance changed the world, but their pasts remind us of the dangers of separating science from conscience. It showed that even in victory, nations can compromise their values. And it forces us to remember that the pursuit of power, whether in war or in science, always comes with a price.